ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೆವರ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಕೀಪ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅರ್ ಟೋಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಮಿಡಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ನೀಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಡೇಟಿ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಅಬ್ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಮ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಅಚೀವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ದ ನೋಬಲ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಜ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ವಿಶ್ ಟು ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕರ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾವು ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ವಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಓ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನವರ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಏ ದಿಸ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಟು ಆನ್ ಎನಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐಮ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಪೂಜಾಸ್ ವಿವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋಟಿಸ್ಡ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡನ್ ಹೂ ಗಾಟ್ ಸಮ್ ರೆಮಿಡೀಸ್ ಡನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕರ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಬೋರ್ಡ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಕರ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಅರುಳ್ ವಾಕ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಹಿಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹಿ ಗೈಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಮೈ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಸ್ನಲಿ ಗೋ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀಕ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗೈಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಗಿವ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ರೆಮಿಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡನ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅ ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಒನ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸಚ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಕಿಡ್ನಿ ಕಿಡ್ನಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಹೂಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವೇರ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಹೀ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ I did not allow them to continue due to some temple politics and then when we sought refuge of uh, Karpa Swami, uh, he beautifully uh, blessed the pujari and said you have a very noble desire to serve the temple so I will make sure that the goddess literally sits on your lap and she talks to you and she talks through you to the devotees. So you know the, the k
I am personally doing an Anushtan also of Karpa Swami and, and I am able to feel his presence uh, every single day, every single day. Uh, I am able to uh, you know, understand how he is blessing me in every aspect of life and that is something that I am very grateful about and I would definitely, uh, I should not fail to mention that here. So today, uh, apart from me uh, talking the glories of uh, the great Lord Karpa Swami, I definitely would have uh, loved if those clients who got the benefit would also be willing to come up to the camera and share in front of the camera. But uh, as usual, not everybody is uh, open about their private life and they are not ready to talk. So uh, after much persuasion and uh, waiting, uh, I finally have my client Swati Prasad. He's always been kind, he's always been generous and since we also work on many other charitable projects together, uh, it became very easy. Um, in fact, Swati has also uh, you know, committed to building toilets uh, in this particular temple, where, uh, you know, which has a lot of budget, like you know, uh, a lot of money is required for this. So together we are doing this and some of my other clients also like have contributed, some from Bangalore, some from Vishakhapatnam. So all are in a small, big way, whatever way possible they are contributing for this particular uh, noble cause because lakhs of devotees go there and um, a lot of them are women definitely toilets are a necessity and this will be a great seva so since uh, swati is deeply involved in uh, building the toilets for them uh, he's been frequenting the temple often okay so he's been frequently visiting the temple and uh, during that time he's observed how uh, miraculously karpa swami is transforming the lives of devotees who seek his refuge so nothing like hearing it from him because he also understands their lo local language he's a tamilian and they are all Tamilians basically so uh, th there is a connect there and um, he's able to talk to them about uh, their problems and how Karpa Swami has helped them and at the same time he's also spoken to the chief priest and uh, you know, understood the, the magnanimity and the, the gracious power of Karpa Swami so today uh, I think in this video you will hear more from him uh, less from me of course but more from him on the, the glories of Karpa Swami and how all of you can get the benefit of the grace of Karpa Swami if you seek his refuge. Stay tuned. Namaste Swati. Hi. Hello. How Hello. are you? I'm good. Actually, I'm not good. <laughs> I have severe cold, so excuse my voice. Thank you so Stand much for your time. I think <sighs> we've been troubling you a lot yeah. for all our videos. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so actually, today's video is very special because uh, in this year, 2024, we this is the first puja we are officially announcing. Mm -hmm. That is of the Karpa Swami. Wow. Okay. And, um, what a start. Okay. Yeah, it's a great mm -hmm. start with his divine blessings. And I feel that uh, nothing to nothing more than having you here. Uh, that is the best thing because I think the most passionate uh, description of Karpa Swami we will get from you. <laughs> so tell me, Swati, uh, what is it that appealed to you most? Because now you've been frequently going to the temple on the uh, toilet project, and mm -hmm. uh, I think you also <coughs> took your relative, some a close relative there. Correct. Yeah. So let me know how you felt there. It was super vibrational, amazing, no doubt about that. Karpa Sami is one very, very powerful God who I always liked, uh, you know, since my childhood. Right. But I didn't get that much of uh, opportunity to go visit his temple uh -huh. uh, as much as I visited Viren's temple. But I always had a, you know, a inclination. inclination, a very, very uh, um, a large corner in my heart for him. Something told me he's definitely one of the very powerful gods and uh, more so he's... You know, he's the direct avatar of or Ramsha of uh, Mahavishnu Narayana, who I love a lot. Yes. And, uh, you know, the popularity, the amount of people who love him so much and crazy, goes crazy, you know, uh, during the festival or uh, his days in all the temples, says a lot about himself, how powerful he must be and how result-oriented he must be. Right. And, you know, I always wanted that, but I thought, okay, when we have time, when I come across such temple, I'll definitely go mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, pay my honor to him once and all of a sudden it just happened. I was thinking and I just got this opportunity. The temple is phenomenal in the middle of beautiful uh, village uh, surrounded by a lot of you know uh, dense jungles and beautiful natural things and the temple itself once you enter it's, 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 it's huge more than the size of the temple. The idols there are really huge and very uh, you know uh, very active you can feel it. It's not like any other temple where they just keep the idols there and then the main deity has a power. Here every uh, deity outside the temple who are the guardians are called as munis you know we have jada muni we have undi muni a lot of munis are there who all it's like he's the boss and all these munis report to him 
Right. So it's like his entire army, you know, is uh, has settled down with this kingdom in the temple. It He's is fully equipped there. Fully equipped, correct. And one more thing is, uh, there are a lot of Karpasami. Okay, so people think every Karpasami is same. Though they are all different Amsha, they just got distributed from one main energy from Vishnu. But the temple, but the Karpasami that I went to is called uh, Palat Karpasami or Angara Karpasami, which means he's always aggressive and just waiting to take up a task and finish it. Right. So, and he's the most matured, most powerful and most eldest of all the Karpasami. So, he's the like the boss of all Karpas. And Karpas are always a level high than any other, uh, you know, guardian deities or village deities or the demigods. He's, he's even beyond the demigod from the stories I heard and the popularity he has and the kind of uh, intense problems he has resolved with no difficulty at all is just amazing. He is such a talking god and the Palat Karpasami is just phenomenal. It's so vibrational and uh, the people there, the priests and their group there does a phenomenal job. You know, it's so tidy, it's so clean, it's so organized and it's so elaborate. Any simple puja. Because the Karpar there is so active 24 by 7. Right. If they do something that he doesn't like or the flower is not good or e even a smallest mistake, he's going to come down and talk to them. So they are really scared very God-fearing team there and then uh, you know just a simple Abhisheka which we can call simple in other temples takes maybe 15-20 minutes. Here it takes one hour for yes. Abhisheka. They do tender mm -hmm. coconut, they do honey, uh, they do uh, javadu, they do lot of things. Yes, it's yes. so elaborate there just just that just an Abhisheka itself produces a lot of good results. People so much come there. You know, for bigger problems, you have different bigger pujas. But the Abhishegam itself is amazing there. Like one hour and then the Alakaram, they take one hour. So, it's two hours just Abhishegam. So, you can imagine the amount of ingredients they use, the amount of times of Abhishega they do with various ingredients is just uh, unbelievable. It's amazing. I've never seen this even in the biggest temple I've been to. Like uh, other deities like Shiva or Vishnu or Hanuman, anywhere. But this is uh, one place where it is so vibrational. It is so electrifying, I should say. That's the that actually. Word, yeah. yeah, you go there near the idol, you can feel the goosebumps actually because everything has a very secret Akshara Yantra, that's what they call there, which is advised and recommended and taught by the Guru Karpasami himself. Correct. So he knows for what deity, what size, what kind of Akshara and Yantra has to be there and what food items has to be there before building up an idol. It's not just an idol, I know, done by the Stabari. It is an idol which is live there. Every different god there in his army is live there. It is so live there. It is so live. True, there is no human interference. Uh, like any um, human guru coming and telling anything. So, it is mm. directly from the gods. Correct. So, God is your Mata, Pita, Guru. Everything is everything there. Is so, there. he is everything for them there and for all the devotees right. uh, praying to him. So, Palat Karpa is just one uh, supreme power to reckon with. Yeah. Actually, when I witnessed the Abhishekam there, even I had a similar uh, opinion and experience because there when they are doing the Abhishekam to the God, uh, we are able to feel the fragrance even when we are sitting very far. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, because he emerged from Vishnu's chest or uh, heart, uh, he is also got those traits of Vishnu. He is Alankara Priya. Correct. And Abhishekam Priya. Abhishek, yes, Abhishekam yes. also, I mean, and like, he, like Swati mentioned, unfortunately what happens in other temples is uh, everybody looks at the temple as an idol. So, it is a stone. So, we are just doing Namaha Namaha, all, all those mantras Correct. we do and, and because of the Sani Dibala, we are somehow getting results. But priests are not interacting or talking to God or anything like that. Correct. They are only mantras, recitation Correct. Uh, Correct. and things like that. In this temple, that is the differentiating factor. There, Correct. the conversation happens and, and the next moment, if there is something that is not okay, uh, Karpa Swami is there. Correct. Correct. He is telling them that you are <coughs> doing wrong or you are doing right. So, it is a very organized temple, very clean, spick and span, teamwork is excellent. Yes. And, and you will feel good when you when you are uh, participating in any puja. You feel so good. You will know that you are going to get results. Correct. You are almost <coughs> feeling. You will just go out with confidence. <coughs> no matter what fear uh, you have when you enter, when you walk out, it's you are a totally different person. Correct. Correct. That is why it is called Maha Abhisheka because they, apart from this elaborate Abhisheka and Alankara, they also do Yes. for 50 to 100 people there. So, right. one Abhishek here covers everything. Correct. Which, you know, compared to other temple, you just go half an hour, see and go. Yeah. Uh, just for your happiness. But here, it gives fala. Everything done here is result oriented. It just yeah. gives result. And, you know, their uh, priest will say, you know, you have this problem, maybe you try this, that. Here, there is nothing like that. Anything, they are not supposed to tell or recommend anything except 
without asking the god yeah so there is arun walk session uh, you know where he does personally for example if one of your client or myself if i have a problem i have to go there or i can call them or i can contact you but then even if you contact the main priest there uh, in which within which the god comes <coughs> he will not recommend himself he will say i love to ask appa yeah so because god knows the best about your karmic record your problem your gochar or whatever it is and what best puja there the temple will give uh, results True. and then once he recommends only then uh, we take at that puja and they do it there so it's very secretly then they have a lot of pujas different pujas yeah. almost for every problem every problem for the problem as well as any new desires you have so it's it's, it's just amazing one one of the arulwak sessions that i got to witness for the uh, it was interesting because one lady one family came actually mm-hmm. a couple with a small baby okay. and i think the wife was possessed by a, <coughs> a spirit mm-hmm. but she was very docile like she was quiet but she was even not even able to walk so when she walked up to uh, appa like the person who's doing the arulwak so what happened was uh, she was not able to walk she was uh, it looked like she was drunk and she's walking okay. you know? that yeah. that was the gait of walk Mm-hmm. but then uh, first he spoke to the husband and he blessed him then he called called for the woman and then when the moment he blessed her she started uh, weeping uh-huh. and then uh, she just she was able to walk back normal <coughs> as if she was she got rid of the energy you know mm-hmm. it was so instantaneous Correct. not even 3 minutes Correct. actually Correct. they say it takes about minimum Seconds. is 3 minutes mune mukha manne mune mukha nodi which means 3 points on face seconds is his capacity yeah i think that is what i saw mm, I, it was not a minute at all i know <laughs> that it was instantaneous yeah, yeah and i could see the relief on husband's face and uh, ghost hunting he does for breakfast lunch and dinner so, <laughs> <laughs> you know black magic or drishti somebody has tied you up they call it cut kai cut nondi cut in tamil so you know they uh, they just tie your business or health wise anything just like that yeah tying basically <coughs> what swati is saying is people try to create blocks by uh, you know kind of tying the hands of your kuladevata so that the kuladevata doesn't help you correct uh, and then they they just uh, you know paralyze you literally in every aspect mm. uh, so it could be health it could be business it could be anything else so but removing that is very easy for him is what he is saying so easy in fact that. the priest has uh, you know many times told that even uh, for a goddess like kali it's easy to uh, put to the put the cut to like you know bind her Tire but up, you yeah. cannot bind karpasami correct, at all correct, correct. Uh, and kali is a very dear beloved sister of karpasami yeah so See, it all makes sense if you see kali is avatar of parvati karpasami is lord narayana yeah. narayana is a bigger brother of parvati so yes. the same, yeah, same relation thing. they have taken in earth also as kali and as karpasami beautiful yeah he's he's one god that's why he's called uh, mandra tantra yantra mahamuni so which means there is even the highest form of black magic or devil or ghost can do nothing he has got such a powerful bone and he can remove any of the most complex magics right uh, not around you also so yeah. so powerful yeah <laughs> as much as he is powerful he is so humble also because i have seen the arulwaka thing and you know how, how he interacts and handles the people his devotees is so humble more than humble is like it's full of love and compassion right correct and at that time you see him <clears throat> you'll be awestruck and think okay is this god so aggressive they are telling can i believe it he is so he knows when to astamasiddhi so right correct okay. so you know when to uh, invoke what emotions right. but generally he is so kind he is so cute he is so sweet that's why i call him big black sweet daddy <laughs> that's the name i get for it lord uh, palatta karpasami again don't confuse with other karpasami all the other karpasamis come under him he is the main lead palatta karpasami that word makes a lot of uh, difference there right. that indicates his power so A- any to, other uh, secretive uh, knowledge that you were able to gain because of your uh, advantage over the language and uh, no frequent interaction with the head priest and the, the other staff there it's super they they do something called uh, adasal puja okay that's very very powerful it's very powerful uh, it can just get you out of it and then they do a lot of uh, uh, rakta chamunda puja so they have lot of pujas for everything again which we cannot choose if you want to choose choose and do but then you might choose the wrong one yeah. right so best is to uh, contact the god directly get his recommendations and then do the puja yeah so, but always uh, symptomatically if you have any issue definitely with that uh, we reach out to the head priest that is what i have been doing for my clients um, in fact for swati is uh, relative also we did the same thing so symptomatically what was the problem we knew and we reached out to them they recommended and the the process is going on right now correct so 3 3 seconds to 3 months is his time 
anything based on the intensity of pranayama max to max 3 months so he says it three amavasya he's yeah. so powerful that he usually you know asks us to wait for like one amavasya two amavasya you don't need to do anything one thing yeah the one secret more than secret the one very important thing uh, when you uh, uh, believe in karbasam is you have to really believe in him that is something he loves True. the moment you know you ask something to him like you know finance or i have a problem professionally please solve and then maybe you know he has told wait for two or three months and then you have to just forget about the problem he will take it miraculously it will happen but if you go to other god and pray the same thing he will move out that is one thing he doesn't like he doesn't like you know money or big thing all he wants from you is 200% faith and respect he will move the mountains for you that is one thing because i spoke to a lot of people there who have been coming there regularly uh, just because they got the job done as a thanksgiving they visit him regularly and does abhishek and all <laughs> what cases and right from very silly small cases to 300 crores right money movement a business guy yeah, came yeah. last week you know his money was stuck for 7 years okay i think he was in canada or somewhere and then uh, they planned to he and his partner planned to wind up the business and then they wanted to take the share for some reason his share was 300 crores and then it got stuck with the english government okay i don't know how it came to london whatever it is it got stuck there while uh, moving the funds and then for 7 years he was uh, having struggling. struggling getting it out and uh, the the person there or the judge or who or the money authority there told him you know you have to pay your taxes and take that's fine which is 7 crores i think for 300 crores and even when he was ready to pay she was not uh, willing to give her some conflict and she was uh, taking this as an opportunity to you know make him, making go around the tree again and again yeah and then somehow he got to know after 7 years he got to know about this temple he came there within one week the funds got released the lady who was working there who was stopping his funds got uh, the work permit expired and then uh, she did something you know some conflict internally and then she was asked to move out transfer and then the new guy came which the karpsami kept telling him you know this will happen so just relax and then she, uh, he said the new guy will come who will be supportive to you exactly a old man came who was very nice and kind who understood the problem he said you don't have to do anything else just pay the tax and then i'll transfer the entire rest of the amount uh, to your account so it is 95% done he told within 3 months i'll get this done for you within one and a half week 95% which is over right. now all this guy has to do is arrange for some crores <clears throat> which also the god helped him through somebody in delhi a big investor he got an investor yeah a big investor who was ready to help him out with some crores and then you repay me back with the interest it's absolutely fine so it's, it's almost done so and as and as small as Uh, getting rid of black magic for him it is small only that's why I'm correct, correct, correct. as small as getting rid of an evil to 300 crores or 500 crores and uh, kidney uh, i mentioned that yeah kidney problem reversal i saw those people and spoke for two and a half years uh, that old person was in dialysis right so within two amavasya it was completely reversed karpura right. said go to doctor i'll not say anything but i am the real doctor even for the doctor medicine to work you need my power so he made the medicines work for many people and for some people where the medicine did not work they were about to die uh, bedridden and will be you know in the death bed uh, after some days he revived them back completely he said after two months in this day go and take a report same scan same scan the kidney had no problem at all and the blood cancer he has reversed blood cancer what more you want what more of a problem you need to be solved right Correct. everything else is nothing when compared to health it's when fast. he can <laughs> revive somebody who is on the death bed every other request will be just like you know as simple for him true and uh, actually true. once i have even seen uh, seen him help a baby who was mm. constantly crying yeah yeah he just aware of that right yeah, yeah he just right. removed the drishti and, and the baby cried a lot while the process was going on and the next minute she was fine correct so it correct. was like uh, a major transformation and you know all these miracles are not just like you know in closed doors it's it's happening in the open correct. like there are 200 people witnessing this correct so you can imagine <clears throat> the 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 grace he is carrying with himself unbelievable 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 like uh, you name it and he does it he's such a sweet father for the one who trust for the evil he is like the most evil to the evil so. in, in fact there are people you know who who would have given money to somebody and then the the person who's borrowed has gone missing uh, or they are behaving with lot of uh, ego they are not responding well they are not giving back the money so karpa swami has helped them get back the money also and in another case uh, between couple also even if one of them is unreasonable and taking undue advantage of the other dominating he is able to set the ego equation right anything anything, anything like i that. mean like uh, very creative 
people have greater problems you have a problem <laughs> with your owner or a neighbor you go for anything he <laughs> for him he doesn't say this is silly problem nothing you come to me i'm going to give you solution true no matter is big or small you know husband or uh, husband wife problem or uh, in laws and husband or spouse problem everything right. come there and these things like one week two week max cycle break work yeah if it is health bigger issue maybe a month or so but otherwise it is done so he says you know when you come and uh, you know put me the murai in tamil murai means the uh, prayer prayer a request mm. so you will immediately come to my in my action to do list ah right so i don't want you to go anywhere else you trust me you come me you just be silent forget this problem you assume that the big daddy is taking care of it yeah in fact what swati mentioned work. earlier also was that he feeds on your faith as the energy so what he meant is like uh, you know human tendency we don't have patience we don't wait so sometimes if our karma is very strong it may take longer than the 3 and a half seconds or minutes yeah. so you know when people go and pray and then they forget that they have prayed to karpu swami they go to another temple they pray there the same request they place so they go to multiple temple they do hopping basically so that is something that he doesn't like correct see i i think this thing makes sense and even i will not like we also will not like correct for example see you give me a task you know or you ask me help i'm going to do and then same time you go and ask somebody else mm-hmm. which when i come to know i'll get pissed off yeah. right i'll i'll just move i'll not help you out when we have uh, such ideology about this concept then why not god why duplicate the whole thing and go to multiple people correct the god will be confused should i do or should you should, do right yeah who should be doing it <laughs> yeah. so and who should take the credit <laughs> should we share uh, this is ridiculous so people many times do that that's why he always uh, when the ugra the, the arulwaka when he enters the body and you know when he talks in god form he says that he makes few points very clear if such is the case if you are coming here with unethical request or you put uh, give me a request and then you go to pay to other god also please don't come here correct i want people only who have 100% faith in me and for them i'll do miracle see the main disconnect is because people don't understand they can talk to god correct they're only reaching out through mantra or a purohit mm-hmm. so but uh, you know the moment they realize that they can start talking to god the connect happens correct correct and, and god, when god recommends you something it is going to be 100% hit yeah you can just blindly do that puja yeah because he is able to see uh, the past present and the future everything everything yeah, yeah. everything makes sense makes sense he's, he's, i i was in in uh, that's he is my new phone love yeah. and i hope <laughs> and i hope he'll last forever so not hope yeah it, it depends on how i am with him yeah. i just love him i just love him my god it's amazing see so far of course no offense or anything to any gods i do uh, services to all the gods and temples but you know it's like all you see is idol you pray it's like one side communication right yeah, i don't know yeah. if what i'm doing is right or not why my prayers are not are not answered either the god has to tell me in the dreams or through oral work nothing has happened right you are just going by your own intuitions and assumptions and then it uh, the prayer might eventually fail yeah and then you do lot of chants and japas and everything to see the god and then you have a god here right in front of you who's live and uh, live then you know it's like uh, um a child uh, you know you 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 give it a dog puppy toy he'll be fascinated at the beginning but then he'll get bored because there is no response from the other side right yeah. he has to bark he has to like move the puppy as if it is running <laughs> and everything but then for the same same child you go and give a real puppy how happy he'll be he will throw this toy or at least move it off yeah. when you have the real thing where there is emotions flesh bones mind sense and everything then then you are link and connect is you know it's a different level so that's how you feel there very well said and, and one more thing is once the puja is done there the uh, tirtha they give an yantra if required it is so powerful it is so responsive it is so talkative because karpasami is known to distribute his energies in whatever they give literally karbasami is in it yeah you do a proper puja i mean simple flower and uh, you know agarbatti that's it you can literally you know subconsciously you can feel he's talking to you you have any problem you go and tell it i have such problem you know i have to you know to even a silliest thing i'll tell you from my experience and you know, i have to go to my office there will be a lot of traffic now but i have a meeting i think i'll miss it please help me at the same day every signal will be green yeah if some things are you have to be aware of it to know that he's talking to you yeah. you go and sit there you talk to him some more lands in the dreams or through somebody he's is is known for it is very very communicative and responsive in fact just before you joined us for the shoot of this particular video i was just telling them giving them a background of karpu swami and i told them how i've started doing the particular puja as uh, directed and i'm able to feel his presence yes yes and, and i'm so able to feel the connect yeah that's what the uh, the, the pujari is told there the more and more you keep doing puja for him the more and more he'll be involved in you he'll, he'll always be with you like a shadow yeah. you you because he he is so much known to capture your thoughts easily anything you think like you know you're in trouble 
oh, I hope this happens like that. Instantly, it's happen. happen. so you know that is always there. Yeah. In you sitting in your mind and reading your thoughts and helping you with that. It's yeah. amazing. And in fact, without my knowledge, I realize I'm always talking to him. When I'm not doing anything else, I'm actually talking to him. <laughs> okay. I'm like, oh my god. And Don't bore him too much. No. <laughs> so somebody asked me recently, whom are you talking to? And that's when I realized, you know, okay, I'm constantly conversing with him. <laughs> and uh, it's become like my life and breath. Yeah, yeah. He becomes like your close pal. Right. He's always with you where you can share your, uh, you know, thoughts and uh, requests. I mean, in fact, uh, there are some so many things that uh, happen in the temple. Uh, they give yantras, they give some talismans, uh, you know, which are very powerful. And depending on what you need, correct, correct. what your request in, is. His Vibhuti is also super powerful. Powerful, yeah. In other temples, you get Vibhuti and put. But here, because he's always there, it's his kingdom. He makes sure his blessing is there in every small dust that goes out of his temple. It is just vibrant with energy. That's okay. his speciality. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Including this Chandan also. So yes, I, I know. I saw that. To, never failed to keep it up. So, nice. and then the paneer they gave after his Amishek and Mandu stone. Because the idols, uh, how this formed is, was the guy, uh, was, I'm sorry, the, the person, the, the Guruji there was, uh, you know, uh, uh, guided by Karbasami, where his stone is, the Swayambhu stone is. And then all the idols there, around 10 idols, 10 uh, Munis, like, you know, Jada Muni, I told you, right? Vandi Muni and uh, uh, L.A. Karpasami, the border Karpasami, all his juniors, yeah. his army men. So, all their stones, you know, uh, the location of them were given to the Guruji in his dreams by Karpasami. Then he went to the rivers uh, with all the people there and then got the stone. So, it's Swaimbo, which means it's so powerful, not just an idol. Yeah. Yeah. And then they have Adi Shakti there, uh, his yes. uh, dear sister and mom. Uh, who is the Chamunda, Kali and all all in one, uh, one all the energies one energy. in one, one uh, Devi form. Yeah, it's huge uh, Devi uh, vibrant statue sitting on a tiger. I have taken a picture with her. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, they do all the pujas there. So, it's it's like one-stop shop solution. Right. For anything you go there, Karpasami will say, do my puja, recommend this person mine or do Adi Shakti's uh, Rakta Chamunda puja yeah. or do a Kali puja. And they have a lot of other uh, very ancient uh, non-existent uh, tantric pujas because nothing is there exist there are so many things that the humans doesn't know nor are they present in the textbooks but given by the god directly so he so doesn't that's what you mean when you said non-existent exactly non-known non-known yeah non-known correct Maybe that's a better way to correct correct yeah, non-known yeah. Yeah. yeah and you'll never know it yeah very, it's very, very secretly guarded by the god himself because he is the best in telling people what best puja he likes for the problem which i don't think it's there in any text because it is lost correct so because now uh, i think in the recent times we don't have many rishis who are interacting with god correct correct very correct. few correct and on, on the person the uh, the main pujari or on whom the karbasami comes is actually a siddhar yeah so i have seen him light lamps with water Right. With my naked eyes. I've seen that. Too. And he doesn't do it for show. Karapasami or he doesn't like it. Yeah. During certain pujas for some clients, it is a secret puja. He lights lamp with a wick and then full water. And the beauty is it lasts till the puja is done and yeah. then the water level doesn't go down. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it's that. It's amazing. And I've seen him cook uh, the, you know, uh, jaggery rice, pongal, uh, shakra pongal, shakra pongal on a coconut shell. Mm. What yeah, happens? It doesn't even get burned. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. get burned. It's it. It, you know, it doesn't get burnt and then the content inside is getting burnt or yeah. cooked up. Cooked, yeah. It's a, so, he's a, he's a saint. So, people know he himself is a siddhar. So, his destiny is that he has to be a uh, you know, very powerful, humble siddhar on whom the Karbasami uh, will be mounting. Yeah, he's the chosen one. Correct, chosen one. Simple. See, Swati and I have been blessed to, you know, uh, in our visits to the temple and interactions with the temple for various reasons. I interact for my clients. He's interacting for the, the projects he's taken up for the temple. But what I want to say is that we have somehow been blessed and connected to this temple. Correct. Only to help all of you. Way. Seriously. Yeah. For so, a reason. And we are also immensely blessed by this association. So I really hope that my clients or whoever is watching this video also get an opportunity to get the blessings of Karpaswam. Definitely. Karpus please, please. You know, I, I really request, uh, request, actually request all your clients or anybody seeing this video to please, for all your problems, please approach him. He's super fast. Super fast. I, I know we have spoken about many gods, but he is one very unique uh, power. You know, his Angara Karupa is like super fast. Yeah. And his remedy just works. Yeah. yeah. And remember. there is no no in his... Uh, okay, I mean, correct, no, correct. In his Darbar, we can say. Correct. In the last 30 years, uh, this Arulwaka is going on. More than for one, one and a half lakh people from all over the world have come. Not one has failed. Yeah, that's what he I'm He hates failure. Yeah. He's like, when you come to me, I'll be successful. On a condition that you trust me. 
till the timeline i've given you just be patient i'll take care you do your efforts but the final decision might need to happen only one uh, request he uh, you know he overturned because that was not ethical right so he said you know for uh, some uh, i remember that uh, for some there's a family that came uh, family meaning one lady and her husband and then the lady had uh, siblings okay mm-hmm. and then she was wanting karpasami to you know try and change their her siblings mind to not want the property and she taking all the all property. their share as well oh. wow how nice was that <laughs> such a kind hearted sweet hearted person <laughs> karpa said get out just get out you you want to grow up well along with others you want any you have any problem but anything unethical hurting somebody harming somebody this is not the place just get out all right so he's such a god of justice yeah absolutely so please you and your clients don't miss this i'm telling you you have to explain <laughs> this to missed. believe it yeah. and once people go there and see the result just like that miracle way they'll keep coming back and i really you know uh, wish well for all of them yeah i'm sure uh, mm-hmm. good things uh, will happen once you reach uh, i mean you know reach out to him for correct help. correct you don't have to think at all any problem any problem relationship you know you have to shut your neighbor's dog mouth even then mm-hmm. so as small as that but it has to be ethical yeah <laughs> it has to be ethical he's just ready uh, you know to hug you embrace you and give you solution as long as you uh, trust him more than anything else so thank you swati for uh, coming sure. over again my to pleasure. our studio and my pleasure and and sharing yeah. your experiences and insights correct don't bother me again this weekend i'm going there so <laughs> okay let me tell you yeah, yeah yeah i have to go there so uh, this toilet thing yeah and uh, you know also there's one more uh, uh, request i have on my own okay. so i just want to it's it's amavas yeah he's super power yeah you you go just ask he'll get it done for you so i don't want to miss that opportunity yeah in fact i what i suddenly recall what i wanted to tell you that time uh, was that even if somebody has uh, faltered on their vows to gods Uh-huh. uh like it could be kuladevata or some other oh, deity yeah, 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 so yeah, he is yeah. able to uh, pending, you know, pending things oh yes yeah, yeah, that's the beauty because yeah. people go to 100 temples 100 gods nothing gets moved yeah. and then they don't uh, they fail to realize you know they have failed to appease their kuladevata or they had prayed for any other god, god and, and not, not fulfill the obligation things. he guides that also that's yeah. a beauty that's why i'm telling you so we uh, i always wanted a god no who can respond to me listen to me and i can communicate yeah. so you know where you are going wrong and you can correct yourself and your prayers you know uh, whether, whether it's uh, realistic or not sometimes you may keep a prayer and it will not happen maybe karmically astrologically or it may not be feasible also or it will it's going to take some time which until the god lets us know we will not know and then we'll be frustrated and leave that god or you know so something like that might happen the beauty of karbasami is he'll tell you exactly what has gone wrong what you have missed anything pending to any other god is pending which you have to go fulfill and then i'll take care and then the gates will open so it it's such a blessing and luck to have a, a, a live real time talking god uh, now with you see in fact uh, every time i'm saying okay thank you and we want to conclude i remember some miracle <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't conclude yeah, only that's why he's called god on call god on miracles god with miracles miracles uh, yeah and un- undoubtedly yeah but so, definitely whoever has reached out to me uh, you know for some help which is critical i have referred there correct. in fact some people say from where do you find these gods because we have never heard of them i say i always tell them you haven't heard because you are not yeah. yet a uh, good time hasn't started correct, 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 correct. <laughs> you know it's not easy to spot a tiger <laughs> you know it's like that yeah you have to wait, have to wait. <laughs> well big, big things will take big time yeah yeah and then once you find out then it's just uh, flow yeah thank you mm. again swati thank sure, you for your time sure 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 thank you yeah.